Hello, my name is Randy Miller and I work at Kenamental's Application Support Department. And today we're going to discuss how to adjust a tunable bar. Okay, now with every bar that we send out is a set of instructions and on that instruction sheet is this chart. It's, what it is is the amount of counterclockwise turns it's going to take to adjust the bar. Now every bar we send comes preset at a 10 to 1 length and diameter ratio. So for example, a 1 inch diameter bar will be set to cut 10 inches deep, 2 inch, 20 inches, so forth, so on. Now, we're going to, for today's video, say we're adjusting a 3 inch diameter bar. So using that, it shows here that this bar should be set at 6 turns counterclockwise out from a lock position. Now what we want to get to is a 6 to 1, so we're going to want to go to 4 turns out. So knowing that, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do, on the bar there's two lock screws. You see one here and one on this side. We want to loosen those lock screws. Now here's your adjustment screw. You'll see the plus and minus side and I'll get into that a little bit later. So the first thing we're going to do is turn this bar the whole way in, turn this adjustment screw the whole way in until it locks down. Um, now if you remember on our chart earlier it said that this was turned out six turns. We can check that right now to see if it came from the factory at the right setting. Now you'll see this last turn that I have to do, it gets really snug and tight. And what that is, is this mechanism inside this portion of the bar, is, it's clamping down on it, essentially. So as it's clamping, it's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. But when you find that lock position, you'll know that that is not going any farther. So now, our four turns out is where we want to go from here. So it's a counterclockwise turn which would be towards the minus sign. So we're going to come out one, two, three, four. Now at this time we want to take a dead blow hammer, some sort of soft mallet hammer, about an inch or two down from the head of the bar, give it a couple taps. And what that does is that sets this mechanism inside the bar. It centers it and makes sure it's in the right location so everything works correctly. After we do that, we lock down our two lock screws, one on each side, and then we will go ahead and make a pass on our test piece and see what we get. Okay, so now we ran the bar and we found that we've got some chatter in our cavity uh, with a real high pitched squeal. So now we want to make some adjustments to our bar. So the first thing we do, loosen our two lock screws. Now you'll see, I showed before the negative and positive sign. Now when this bar is making a real high pitched squeal, we want a counterclockwise rotation on this adjustment screw. And what we're doing is loosening this mechanism up inside the bar. Um, we probably want to go a half to a quarter turn to start. So if we turn this a half turn out, you know, tap the bar, lock down the screws, and make another test pass and see what we get. Uh, make sure we're moving in the right direction. Uh, if it's a low pitch squeal, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to want to turn this adjustment screw clockwise, which is going to tighten this up in here. So we would turn it clockwise, tap it with our hammer, don't forget to do that, lock down your two lock screws on each side, and go ahead and run it again. Now once you start to get the chatter out um, and the noise starts to cut down, you may want to move this adjustment screw, you know, maybe start with a quarter, go to an eighth of a turn, 
um, to fine tune it. Okay, now we've adjusted our tunable bar. Uh, other and very important things to remember is just as important as using a dampening bar is the insert, positive geometry, ground if possible, small radius, uh, the lead angle on the head that you're using, you want to use as close to a zero degree lead as you can. Uh, these are all features that are extremely important that's going to help get rid of that chatter. Um, these are all things that we can help you with at application support. Uh, so please give us a call. We can help you with this or any other item that you might need help with. Thank you for listening and have a great day.